Good morning, everyone. It's um, Monday morning, the Monday of Thanksgiving week, and I haven't delivered a video message to you in quite some time with the fact that we've had regular services um, every 8.30 um, on Sunday morning and 10 o'clock on Sunday mornings. I've been delivering announcements from there and including them with the sermon that gets sent to everyone. But I thought it might be a good time for me just to do a short video message to remind all of you in the parish um, about what was what is going on for Thanksgiving and during the coming month uh, and for our Christmas service as well as our annual pledge campaign so that you would be aware of all that you wanted to participate in. Um, so. On this coming Thursday, Thanksgiving Day, we will have live service at the church at 10 o'clock so that if you are home alone and would like to be with someone, you can come to church and with safe distancing and mask and proper hand sanitation, um, we can do everything we can to assure you that you will be in a safe space if you come to that service. Um, and in addition, um, I wanted to let you know that we have a Thanksgiving food drive occurring through our food pantry. That's normally done by the school district, but the school district has not been able to do it this year. So consequently, our personnel, including our chair and vice chair of the food pantry, uh, our Lynn McGrath and Karen Kellogg, are spearheading that drive with the assistance of a lot of volunteers We've got a lot of food that has come in um, from the PTA, from, uh, from uh, women's groups in town, from the Boy Scouts. So we've had a lot of contributions of about 150 bags, I think, just this past week. And we'll be probably having more that will come on Tuesday morning, uh, tomorrow morning. Um, if you would like to come and help sort through any of those things so that they can be properly distributed, that would be a great help. Um, and you can let uh, Janet, uh, our parish administrator, Janet Repman, know via email or by calling the office and letting her know that you would like to help and she can tell you how to do that. Um, in addition, I wanted to let you know that we'll have our normal uh, Christmas services at 4.30 p.m. and 10 o'clock p.m. on Christmas Eve, uh, and in addition, our Christmas Day service at 10 o'clock. I'm contemplating adding another service on Saturday, the day after Christmas, simply because I want to be sure that everyone who wishes to come during the Christmas season to worship will be able to, since we are limited to about 35 or 40 people uh, at a time in the sanctuary, I wanted to be sure that everyone has a chance to do that. So if you receive this message and you are interested in attending a Saturday service uh, on Christmas weekend, rather than coming to the Christmas Eve service or the Christmas Day service, then please let me know that you would like to have that. So I'll have an idea about how many of you would like to do that so we can be sure to accommodate as many of you as possible. Um, also, I wanted to let you know that we are not going to be uh, housing uh, the AA groups for a while still. They have been, they've approached us about trying to get back into the, into the space, but we are unable to do that based upon the number of people that would be using the space. But uh, we will have ongoing discussions with the current vestry and then with the new vestry that gets selected in, um, in January about how we can better accommodate AA and how we can work around our schedule and our limited space capacity to get them back into the space as soon as we possibly can. That is an important ministry to us and we want to try to continue it and accommodate them in any way that we possibly can. Um, lastly, I wanted to remind you that we are still doing the, McCl the Cardinal McCloskey uh, drive for necessities for those in need. It's a tradition that we've established and we want to continue on. So if you have donations that you would like to give, um, there's there was a list that was sent out to you in an email a couple of weeks ago 
if you would like to receive that list again, let Janet in the office know and she can send you the list of requested items. You can bring them by anytime during office hours, which are from nine o'clock to one o'clock, Monday through Friday, of course, this week with the exception of Thursday and Friday. Uh, you can still bring them all in all the way up to December 10th. So please do that if you have items that uh, you can contribute that will be a wonderful gift this time of year. And also it will be a wonderful gift for those who are in need, especially those who are working with limited resources and limited funds during, during this pandemic. So I welcome you to receive all of these invites in any way that you can. And remind you also that if you have not dropped off your pledge cards or not mailed them back to the church office, Please prayerfully consider what you are able to pledge for the coming year. We all recognize that we are in, a, in uncertain times, um, and it's certainly understandable if at this time you're not certain what you can do and if you're reluctant to make a commitment. Uh, if you can only make a small commitment and increase it later, that would be great. It will give us an opportunity at least to try to figure out what we have uh, in the way of a budget to work on in the coming year. So if you haven't filled out the pledge cards, please go ahead and do so and send them in. Um, I know that you received, most of you received them in the mail. And if you would prefer just to take a photocopy of your pledge card with your signature on it, and, um, and you can then email it to Janet in the parish, just uh, go onto our website and you'll see uh, her email address there and you can email her the photocopy of your pledge card. Um, so just giving you all these things for your consideration. Hope that you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving despite the fact that it may be limited family members around, despite the fact that it will not be the way we would always like it to be at Thanksgiving. But all of you will be in my prayers and I think you will be in the prayers of all of us at St. Luke's who know you and love you and care about you and wish you a happy Thanksgiving. Um, I have missed seeing all of you at our regular services, those of you who are unable to attend uh, now or afraid to attend because of uh, being around or potentially exposed to this virus. Let me assure you all that we are working toward every way that we possibly can to assemble together in community. And this community has rallied around that very wonderfully and, and gracefully. So. Thank you all. God bless you all and have a Merry Thanksgiving.